Well, good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Maggie Plegno, and this is Houston Happens. You know the drill on Friday. I take the show on the road, and I want you to experience something cool and colorful. I think we all could use an escape. Well, look no further. We are at the Color Factory, and I'm joined by my friend Carl. Thanks so much for waking up with us and giving us an inside peek at everything. Yeah, no problem. Good morning. Uh, like you said, my name is Carl. I'm the assistant general manager here at Color Factory. Uh, Color Factory is an interactive art museum with interactive installations. Uh, we're located in Houston, New York, and Chicago. Each location is unique to each city, and it's just a great experience, like Maggie said, to come, enjoy some color, and have fun. You and I were talking off camera, like, we need an escape, and we want a place where all colors are accepted, all people mm. are ex accepted, and we can just almost be a kid again, right? Exactly. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, everybody enjoying. You only live once, and everybody has an inner kid. We just try to pull it out with color. And how many different installations are there here? Oh, my goodness. We have installations hidden in installations, so <laughs> it's a bunch. It's yes. a bunch, yes. And speaking of a bunch, look at this. Tell us a little bit about this. So this is 30. It's created by the artist Hot Tea. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 30. Uh, it's made up of 30 different colors from our Houston color palette. Uh, each color was pulled from around the city, and it's interacted in all the exhibits. Uh, just like over here, we have our complimentary treats when you come in. Uh, we with Jelly Belly right here, and we have... Oh my gosh, this is heaven! Look at this! Yes. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, mine is orange. Okay. I like the orange. I'm I like orange the guy. banana. I'm a banana girl. Ah, nice, nice. Well, whatever your flavor is, we have it. I okay. love that. I like that. Now, over here, so you were talking about the palette. This is really neat, and again, interactive. Tell us about this wall. So, like I said, each color was pulled from around the city, and each color, each is unique to the city. So as you open up the color door, mm -hmm. you see from where around the city it was pulled. Oh, how neat. So NASA. NASA. Discovery Green. Houston oh. Fine Arts Museum. This is really, really neat. And we are going to be showing you some new exhibits here. Mm -hmm. In fact, are you ready to drop it like it's hot? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I guess, scared him a little bit. <laughs> you could do that a little bit. I mean, there's maybe a silent disco party yeah. that we're going to get in on. So yeah. I am excited. Thank you so much for having us out here this morning. The fun is just beginning. But on a serious note, there are people who add a little bit of color into our lives, especially when we're having a really difficult time. Hospice care nurses. But they need looking out for too. So here's more from the sponsored content. There is a significant nationwide shortage of hospice care nurses that is seriously affecting Houston and the rest of Texas. I am joined now by Ms. Shelley Henry, the president of the Amity Group and a hospice care nurse advocate. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. So tell us, uh, for those that don't know, what exactly is a hospice care nurse? So a hospice care nurse is a nurse that provides care for a hospice company and a patient in their home, somebody who's been diagnosed with a terminal illness and has decided to live the rest of their time at home where they don't want to go to the hospital anymore. So we go provide their care at home. And, and tell us that. a little bit, because I told you, you all are angels and you've had helped my family through some really tough times. So it kind of makes me nervous that there's a shortage. Why is there a shortage? Well, as you know, there, there's a national nursing shortage. And then hospice nurses, that's already with such a small segment of healthcare that any shortage in that area is really rough. And you know, we everybody took a big hit during COVID. So we're losing a lot of nurses there's a lot of burnout and people nurses leaving hospice and some just leaving nursing altogether and I told you like this is hard I hate to say the word burden but it's a lot to take on as a hospice care nurse it's not a normal yes. nurse I mean this is the end of life for a lot of people so tell us about your group and how you guys are helping nurses yes so I decided I've been in hospice for about 20 years and I was concerned about the nurses leaving so that's why I decided to start the amity group and what we do is we provide hospice agencies with nurses that can go in when they're shorthanded and help fill out because regular agency nurses can't do that. You can't go from a hospital right into hospice because it's a very specialized field. So what we did is we are attracting these nurses back where they can come work for us and they have flexibility in their schedule. And then we have the experienced nurses there that can help 
guide and train the newer nurses because it's something that it's really an art to hospice and so we need our experienced nurses in the field so that's basically what we do is we we bring them back in nurses that have left hospice we bring them back and then they go and we help fill in in hospice agencies where they need help and you guys are really special too because you actually talk to the nurses tell me a little bit about this survey you recently did so we did this survey when when I first started the company like with any company you know you wear every hat and right. so I, I had been in the corporate field of hospice for a while at that time but I got back in the field and I struggled a lot mm -hmm. it was much harder than it was 20 years ago when right. I first started doing it and so I wanted to find out if other nurses were struggling too and, what, the, and the, what, the, what was going on with that. And I thought, well, let me just do a survey. So we did this survey. We did the first one two years ago and just basically asking nurses questions. And where are you struggling? And what are you, where are you having problems? So we had a good response to that. And we were able to isolate three particular areas and um, then help come up with some solutions. So we did it again last year, got three areas. And so we then present this data to national um, organizations, state organizations, things like that with these three main things that we're struggling with and here's what we can do to fix them kind of thing. I love that yeah. because you really are an advocate and you're listening to them and you're making a change. Where can people go for more and to contact you? So if you want to do the survey, we'll be opening it again in October. So it'll run October to December, but you can go to the hospicenursesurvey.com. It's its own website and click on there and take the survey. Um, or you can also go to our website, amitystaffing.com, where you can learn more about what we do and how we serve as advocates for hospice nurses and how we're helping hospice agencies and supporting the industry. Well, thank you for the work that you do. I really appreciate thank you. you. And thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. I came out with my pants on Are so you trying to get me put off television? <laughs> Judge Mathis. You got the real deal. Next on CW39 Houston. I had an injury and reached out to Morgan & Morgan. The process was easy. Morgan & Morgan made it easy. They made it super easy. I got her on the job. The vehicle I was in spun around and flipped over. We had gotten hit, which totaled our vehicle. I had never been in a crash before. As sophisticated as my case was, Morgan & Morgan took care of everything for me. Everything was taken care of by Morgan & Morgan. They uh, made everything easy. I really didn't have to do anything. It was actually a very easy process. Who wants pancakes? Right. You wouldn't serve breakfast that isn't cooked all the way. Or tie just one shoe. So when it comes to immunizations, doctors recommend the full series. Every dose matters. If you can't work due to a physical or psychological problem, you can apply for Social Security Disability Benefits. But it's not so easy. Most people get denied and simply give up. I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas Board Certified Attorney. If you are denied, there are four rules. Appeal, 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 and appeal. Don't give up. Call me now. You have lost by all. Call Victor McCreese, 713-665-1000, easyapply.com. We've all seen car wrecks while driving down the highway, smash cars and emergency vehicles. At Simmons & Fletcher, we see what happens after the wreck, the person fighting to recover, and the family desperately wanting life to return to normal. Now is the time to call Simmons & Fletcher. We'll take over the fight for compensation and end the frustration of dealing with the insurance company. Call 1-800-JUSTICE. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Welcome to WOW! Let's get it on! The force of nature! The vicious drop! Right to the purple man. Wow, Women of Wrestling, Saturday at 11 on CW39 Houston. You must be the Joker's daughter. <laughs> She's crazy. Anything daddy could do, I can do better. <laughs> you know who knows more about crime than cops? Criminals. Ta -da! This is seriously wrong. This is Gotham. <laughs> Awful. Whoa. Gotham Knights, new episode Tuesday at 9, 8 central, only on the CW. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, now. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't hear you. That's because I was enjoying my own silent disco out here at Color Factory. How are my dance moves, Carl? Good. 
Yeah. <laughs> Boogie fever, boogie fever. Boogie fever yeah. for sure. Can I just tell you, I've always dreamed of going to a silent disco. I've now, never been, and now I got to experience it. Now your dreams have come true. They have, thanks to Color Factory Houston. So tell us a little bit about this. This exhibit installation just recently opened. Yes, this is one of our new exhibits. It's a royal disco ball. Uh, we chose the color purple to highlight women empowerment. And since it is a silent disco, we're also highlighting the queens of music from Texas, like Beyonce, Meg Thee Stallion, Selena. Ooh, yeah. I love this. Now, mm -hmm. how does this work exactly? I mean, how many people are allowed in a room? at a time and what's the process like oh uh, we can fit about 60 people in here at a time and no just come in put on a crown and dance around oh my gosh put on a crown and, and dance, dance around. around I'm telling you you guys have got to do this and it's nice and cool in here because we need to bring the heat but not experience the heat here's what I love too I'm here for a good selfie Mm -hmm. And you guys have some technology for that. Tell me about it. Definitely. So in some of the rooms, we have cameras staged with our HD uh, cameras. And you're able to scan your QR code, take a picture, and the picture gets immediately emailed to you. So you don't have to worry about a selfie stick or anything like that or somebody taking your picture. I, we have that set up for you. I am here for this. I'm here for all of it. How do we go about getting tickets and coming on out here? So if you go to colorfactory.co, uh, slash Houston. You could purchase your tickets ahead of time. Um, you purchase for a time slot. You come in. When you come in, we get you registered to set up with a QR code. The QR code links to your email, and we're able to send the pictures that you take to your email directly. And you and I were talking, we're parents. Yes. We don't get out much, but you can actually bring the kids here. Yes, Color Factory is fun for all ages. Everybody enjoys color. Kids, uh, grandparents, everybody. Yes, it's definitely a party. So if there were to be, like, who would you want to be playing in your headphones? Would it be Queen Bay? Would you like Megan Thee Stallion? Who's your favorite, would you say? I don't think you can go wrong with either, you know? So when you come in, it's just a good vibe. Well, what about Tina Turner? Do you like Tina Turner? Oh, Proud Mary, of course. <laughs> of course. We love Tina Turner. And guess what? There's actually a musical about her iconic life. Check out more. Trying to recreate Tina Turner's legendary raspy voice is no easy feat, but it's something Naomi Rogers and Zurin Villanueva were able to replicate pretty accurately. Well, ladies, how excited were you to get this role? Oh my goodness, so excited. Um, getting it was one of the biggest surprises I've ever had. I was like, oh, I'm stunned. <laughs> I think I love telling real stories, real things, and about real lives, and this real person who we all were honored to see and to be able to be gifted by her talent. It's amazing, and I'm blessed. It's also pretty rare when two people share a lead role, but it was a strenuous one. It's a three-hour show. We're singing 22 songs. And so the only way to give a thousand percent and be Tina the entire show from top to bottom 17 to the age of 45 is to have it split. The cast was on a break between cities when they heard the news of Tina Turner's passing. And so when we came back, we had this fire inside of us to tell this story with grace, but also celebrate the life of this legend. You want to approach it freshly and remember why you're telling the story and who we're telling the story for and understand the inspiration and the truth of the story, mm -hmm. but changing it is the last thing that you do if you're honoring somebody. The last 10 minutes of the show, in my humble opinion, are the most exciting 10 minutes of theater you will see on stage, so please come see us. <laughs> Well, I'm back out here live at Color Factory Houston, and Ido, look what I found for us. Oh my goodness, which one fits? You are the queen of weather, my friend. All hail my Ido. Ah! But uh, are we hailing Mother Nature? Is it gonna be really hot? Oh no, she's the queen of hot, like the empress of hot. Oh, Ooh, yep. 
I found the I found a crown for her then, Mother Nature. Folks. Oh, good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but how fun I is this? We need a date here. We need <gasps> to come out here. It's so much fun, Ito. Please, I really want to go. I'm so excited that you're there and giving us a preview of everything that's there. Uh, but if you are going to be heading out that way, you have to be prepared uh, for the heat in the parking lot. But then once you're inside, everything's going to be great. Now, let's go back to that heat. Let's take a look at your forecast around town. Saturday, upper 90s, but with the feels like temperature, we could be around 110 to 115. And then Sunday, it's just going to be hot. Check that out. Actual air temperatures can get close to 100 degrees. And then overnight, it's not going to cool down that much either. We're looking at 80 degrees. So if you're thinking about having dinner on the patio, it won't be a bad idea because we don't have a chance of showers, but you definitely want to be near that fan. Now, if you're heading out to Galveston, 90 for tomorrow, feels like temp around 106. And then on Sunday, it's also going to still be pretty warm at 90 degrees overnight temperatures this weekend into those low 80s. Now we still have that heat advisory in effect. It actually was extended into tomorrow because our heat indexes, those can reach 112 degrees and by heat index we mean the feels like temperatures. So if you step out the door right now, we have some 80s right now, right? But then this afternoon and it's going to be mid to upper 90s, but our feels like temperatures are going to be reaching 105, 106 by later on this afternoon. And let's go ahead and talk about those tropics. I know there's a lot of buzz happening with Brett, but don't worry that not even going to be a hurricane. It is going to die off. Hey, do want to register Cindy here that did turn into a tropical storm this morning, but it doesn't look like it's going to intensify as it hurts uh, heads closer uh, to us in the eastern seaboard. Look at that. It's going to weaken. It's going to become a low, not really a big concern with these storms, but it's June and we already have three named storms for the hurricane season. Moving over now to our extended forecast who I kind of wish I had like a blanket to like cover up these triple digits because Maggie it is going to be so hot next week 102 can you believe it actual air temperature 102 yeah I got 99 problems and the heat is one of them because <laughs> it's going to be 102 Where but are guess you? what I'm too cool for school Edo. I don't care about the temperature because I'm at Color Factory Houston. You know, I have to say this is my favorite installation. Allow your eyes to kind of settle a minute. But Carl, tell me about this. So this is RGB HTX Houston. Um, this is our newest room. It's merges all three it merges three primary colors into one room the light washes over the room just to show you all the images for all the colors. As you look it's iconic Symbols, people, places that you identify with Houston. Oh my gosh, the We Love Houston sign, Selena's over here, the food, look at this. And then it just, oh my gosh, Williams Tower? Mm hmm. Don't forget the mosquitoes. <laughs> there are even mosquitoes. Talk about attention to detail, my friends. So, how do you guys come up with these installations? So we partnered with our on-site team and they came up with some iconic images, places, and ideas that you would just associate with Houston. So if you're not from here, it's an opportunity to kind of get to know the city. If you are from here, it makes you feel like home. And you are from here. You said born and raised, proud Houstonian. What is your favorite thing about Houston? My favorite thing about Houston is we don't really have a winter, which is great when winter not so great in the summertime though <laughs> yes exactly well that's why we have good spots like color yeah. factory houston and what i love about houston is the diversity and that's what you get to experience here i mean you just stand here for a second and i keep noticing something different i mean we've got oh and then look i mean it just changes like that mm -hmm. is there a favorite part of this for you i like selena and yeah. the turkey leg just because it's houston and we're definitely known for our food so you gotta love it Yes, and I love everything here at Color Factory. So how are you guys always staying fresh and reinventing things? I mean, just with the color. You know, just the color uplifts your mood. So we try to do colorful things and just incorporate that in everything we do. And just as you travel around the city, there's lots of colorful ideas to get inspiration behind. And you guys are here permanently, right? Yes, permanently. We opened in 2019 and we'll be here for a very long time. So. Make sure you join us. We're on the corner of Kirby and uh, Richmond. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it. It's great, and I think it's great because it's for families. It's a great date night too, I would say. 
Again, it's great for everybody, whether it's day, night, families, or you're just trying to get out of the hot sun. Mm -hmm. It's this, for everybody. This is where it's at. And colors, they just brighten your mood. I know that I've felt like some sunshine here. Here's the thing. If you have any questions, we have all of the details over on our website, CW39.com. But we're exploring some more rooms. I'm pretty excited about this. You ready for that? Yeah, definitely. All Let's right. do it. Well, stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. If you're not 100% sure you're getting 100% of the Medicare benefits you deserve, Kelsey Care Advantage is here to help with a free Medicare plan checkup. Call now to speak with one of our Houston-based Medicare specialists. We'll help determine your specific needs and ensure you are receiving all the Medicare benefits you qualify for. Best of all, if you switch to Kelsey Care Advantage, our five-star rating by Medicare means you can enroll year-round. Call for your free Medicare plan checkup today, 713-442-8521. I'm Alex Garcia with Volkswagen Cypress at our new location just off 1960. Interest rates keep rising, but don't worry. During our rate cut sale, we're cutting rates in half. Get 3.9 for five years on any new car. And we have as low as 1.9 on used cars. Get the car you really want, like the Jetta, Tiguan, Taos, Atlas, or ID4 EV. Volkswagen Cypress is where good things happen. Come check us out at VWCypress.com. Hey, babe, check this out. Look what I got today. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah, right? The kids are going to hate them. Uh, maybe, but they will hate them together. Blackish, tonight at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. CW39 will take you on an unforgettable vacation. The destination, Texas. Experience rich culture and breathtaking terrain. Watch Destination Texas, July 1st on CW39. Brought to you by these sponsors. Yes, my daughter hasn't come home. Name's Neve Kelly. I'm right here! Yes, I'll help. Come here. Come find me. Someone drugged me and then strangled me with a belt. So much I don't remember. I'm not going away. Not till I figure out who did this to me. I remember something about the night of the party. I lied in my statement. We need to stick together. I won't be somebody's victim. I want justice. You are a pervert! What are they doing? Shocking revelations. He shot her 14 times right in front of our house. And powerful stories. The Steve Wilco Show. Steve Wilco's today at 2 on CW39 Houston. When I think of Power Wizard and electricity companies and rates, I kind of think of you guys as our matchmakers, mm -hmm. finding us the best plan for our lifestyle, like the perfect match. And of course, our good friends of the show, we have Tatiana and Christine back with more. Ladies, always a pleasure having you on. Yeah, Thank always you. good to see you. So I love this because, like I said, you know the right fit for us in our lifestyle. So tell us a little bit about how you find the right match for us. Ah, yeah, there are so many different electricity plans out there. How do you know what's the right one for you? And we used to like the 12 months plans, then the winter storm hit, okay. rates was, went up very high, and your best bet was the 24, the 36 months plans. Now we're back to 12 months plan. So there's a strategy behind uh, shopping for electricity. Right, and you know what I love about you all is that we can actually have a conversation and you listen to our needs. Yes. right like relationships so if I call you and I say I'm only gonna be here six months tell me about what you guys would do for us yeah we can shop for you um, and find either a six-month plan or a three-month plan really just depends on what you're looking for um, our agents take all of that into account if you don't love the plan that we originally are looking at then you can always change that as well and let's talk about rates how are rates right now and it's now the time to act Absolutely, you should, if you are on a variable rate right now, you don't want to be on a variable rate. You want to be on a locked in contract rate. If you're up for renewal, your contract is about to expire, now is the time to do it. Um, in 30 days or even August, the rates go up really high. So you got to lock in now. 
and 12 months rates are again like I said before very reasonable probably what nine ten cents yeah okay so don't fall for 12 cents 13 cents it's it's you can get a good one for a good rate good plan for nine to ten cents right. and commit to 12 yes. months mm -hmm. so that's a good idea to do yes. and when you're finding us these plans you take a lot into consideration tell me a little bit about the process yeah we have a special tool and that runs uh, we take your usage under account and then we run our tool find the best plan for you we're not getting paid by any electric provider our uh, customers are members, so they pay us a membership fee. It's a fraction of what they're saving, um, us finding them the best plan. And you know what's great? Like a matchmaker, you can also break up with somebody, right? Yeah, and it's right. hassle-free, no sweat off of us, right? No, yeah. We enroll our customers, then we know uh, when the contract expires, we renew them again. They call us uh, if they have questions um, for the REP. We take the call, electric provider, we take the call and handle it on their behalf. Well, I don't know about you, but I would sit back, call Power Wizard, and crank up that AC because I know I am in good hands and they'll find me the perfect match. As always, ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. And before we get to more fun at Color Factory Houston, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And if you are looking somewhere cool and colorful other than Houston happens, come to Color Factory Houston. Carl, where are we in in the show? We're in <laughs> confetti accumulation. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much for a fun, fun time this morning. We loved it. And see the world in color. Happy Pride weekend, too. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you back in studio Monday morning. Same time, same place for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, bye for now, everybody. <laughs> I love it here. Yeah.